Oh Today we worked on uh, what's called as a brain operating system. The brain operating system is a learning platform. Uh, it's a true learning platform in the sense that uh, you can build robots that use brain operating system and Snapdragon inside them, and they can learn a behavior and then do tasks for you. So. Um, and, and they do that by looking at uh, visual cues and other sensory information. So what we're going to show here today is, uh, is a demonstration, which uh, I'm going to introduce to JB, and he's going to come up and do the demo here. So if I can have JB on the stage. OK, before he gets on with it, I'm going to kind of explain what's going on here. Um, here's a robot that's got a Snapdragon in it. And what this robot is going to do is uh, we're going to teach it how to avoid obstacles. So let's say you bring this robot home and uh, you can imagine it's your lawnmower and you want it to mow the lawn. Um, so what you do first is uh, you, uh, you just train it. And the way you train it is uh, you just make the robot go around a few times. Uh, and whenever it hits, it hits an obstacle, you kind of move it back and say, don't do that. And then, uh, and then you make it do that. And uh, you can see that the ears of the robot are red. At that point, it means that it doesn't have any training. So as you make it do this a couple of times, uh, the Snapdragon processor and the brain OS that are running on it uh, give the robot the ability to learn a behavior. And once it's totally trained, the ears of the robot are going to go green, I'm told. And then, uh, and then uh, you can just let it go. And it's going to do follow the course that you trained it to do without hitting any obstacle. So that's the concept. So now he's trained it, and now he lets it go, and we'll see if it can do the exact same thing without hitting anything. So that is a pretty complicated problem to actually be able to automatically train a robot to do <coughs> that kind of task of obstacle avoidance. Uh, because typically, robot, the way robotics used to work, people used to you know, um, build these products and write a lot of complex pieces of software to say, OK, if I see an object, go left. If I don't see this, go right. If this is a tree, do this. But here, it removes the need for programming of the robot. Uh, instead, the intelligence is now in the brain OS and, uh, and also in, uh, in the Snapdragon processor. So you're able to build this, uh, build this training robot. It's going to receive from me certain gestures, which and then JB is going to give it a training to associate with those gestures. And we'll show you quickly how we can train it to do some things. Now, my rover is kind of short, so I'm going to have to sit on the ground so he can see me better. Apologize to those in the back. Um, and just to be clear, when his ears are blue, he's in standby. When his ears are red, JB's sending him a training signal telling him what to do, and he's associating that with what I'm showing him. And when the ears are green, he's on his own, he's autonomous. So I'm going to train him to come towards me. Are you ready? Okay. So first we're going to train him to just sit in place in front of me. Now I'm going to push him away, and JB's going to train him to stay in front of me. Now I'm going to give him a signal to come, and JB's training him to come to me, and now we're training him to stay in front of me. Send him away, train him to stay in place, now train him to come, train him to stay in place again. Think he's got the hang of it? All right, let's see if he's got it. So he's on his own now, he's staying in place, now I'm going to give him the signal to come, and he's going to come. He stops, uh, let's see if he can do it again. Good guy, come on. There you go. All right, now we're going to make it a little, a little more. Uh, we're going to train him to go away and then to come. I'm going to give him a different gesture to go away. I'm going to put my hands in front of his face. JV's going to send him backwards. He's being trained again. He's staying. Call him. He comes forward again. Give him the signal to go back. He goes back. Stops. Let's see if he can get it. Come on, little guy. Come on. Maybe a little help. There we go. There we go.
so, so that's how you train a robot. Uh, and uh, this whole kit, uh, the uh, user uh, app and the training interface JB has in its hand, uh, the iRover robot, there's a, there's a special single board computer we call BSTEM based on the Snapdragon processor that's built just for robotics. And the brain operating system that allows you to train the robot are now available to selected developers. So if you're interested, check us out at our booth downstairs or check us out on our website. Thanks a lot.